Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at how to reduce your noise floor level in Adobe Audition. So, once you have your recording done, the first thing I like to do is double click on it, go to Effects, Filter and EQ and choose FFT Filter. And right here I would reduce the lower end frequencies within my recording and this way you will remove some of the low end rumble and this will not diminish your audio quality in any way. So we're going to click apply and it did some minor changes, although nothing too major. But that's the first step. Second thing I would do is we're going to be applying the noise gate tool. So with the noise gate, what we need to figure out first is the noise floor. So you're going to want to select the part where only room tone is audible within your audio recording. If you don't have such part, just click the record button and record it. And now you're going to want to play it. And we are right now looking at the playback level meter and you want to figure out where your noise floor peaks. And this is going to be your noise floor level. So in this case, it is somewhere around minus 49 decibels so now we're going to select the whole audio recording go to effects amplitude and compression and choose dynamics make sure the compressor and the expander boxes are both unchecked and the auto gate box must be checked release hold and attack settings i always leave them as they are so if you want to you can copy them however the threshold is going to be different for everyone probably so in my case my noise floor was at minus 49 decibels and the threshold determines from which point your noise gate starts to kick in so in this case if my threshold is at minus 40 decibels everything that is below minus 40 decibels is going to be cut from your audio recording and in this case that includes my noise floor which is at minus 49 decibels and usually i set my threshold about 5 to 10 decibels above my noise floor so uh, minus 40 dB threshold works in this case fine for me just keep in mind when we are applying noise gate it did remove all of the noise floor that is in between me speaking however this part is not affected because the noise floor is hidden behind me speaking so this whole part of my audio recording is it still has the same noise floor as it had before however in between me speaking it's completely clean now so in those cases where you have quite significant noise while you're speaking what i would use is a tool called denoise and with the denoise it will reduce the noise floor even when it appears simultaneously with you speaking so usually i wouldn't go anywhere higher than 30 percent because then it kind of diminishes your audio quality significantly so 30 percent is about the optimal spot and you're gonna click apply and this is gonna be it this will make your audio significantly cleaner but I would only rely on the noise reduction tool if you had a significant noise. In this case, my audio was quite clean to begin with. So uh, using the equalizer noise gate would have been enough. 